Maybe you do not know. I am Maria. Wish you a good day. Tragedy of the Lineage Insomnia to Death There are people in the world who are suffering from fatal insomnia that they suffer for months before they die. Silvano, 53, is enjoying the pleasure of a luxury cruise ship, which has the initial symptoms of the disease. Initially sweaty sweats drenched in the shirt. Silvano discovers that the pupil shrinks like a needle, leaving his eyes to become dull, identical to the symptoms his father and two sisters had suffered. Silvano knew for sure that he would also suffer the next symptoms such as tremors, impotence and even persistent constipation, but more frightening than all is chronic insomnia, which will keep you awake for months, eventually falling into a coma and death. Silvano does not pretend to himself that this scary disease will be cured when contacted by the University of Bologna's sleep department. I will lose my sleep completely and only eight or nine months later, I will definitely die. Silvano told Dr. Pietro Cortelli, who also provided proof of the 18th century Silvano genealogy, with each of the members dying of the disease. As Silvano predicted, he died a few years after the illness, but volunteered to leave the brain for scientific research. Hope this can help clear up the family's bizarre disorders and find solutions to the tragic fate that happens to other members. The Silvano family almost kept their struggles with fatal family insecurity, FFI, except for a single history that D.T. Max mentions in his book Do Not Sleep reveals a picture of people living in constant fear of the genome itself. Investigation In search of the genealogy of hopeless patients, Max found the first case of the disease to be traced to a late 18th century Venetian scholar. Medical records describe patients with paralytic conditions that last for several months. Shortly afterwards, his grandson Giuseppe suffered the same illness, and his two sons, Angelo and Vincenzo, passed on to his nephews to Pietro, Silvano's father, who died in World War II. Regardless of the repeated persistent loss, the whole family does not seem to dare mention the disease due to fear of fate. But Silvano wants to change this and work with the niece of a doctor, scientist named Ignazio Reuter. Find out what happens inside the brain and body of people with this strange disease. An attempt to find out what illness cannot save Silvano and two other family members. But extensive trials have finally found the culprit, a deformable protein in the brain called Brian, a proteinogenic protein, caused by a small genetic mutation. For some reason, only in middle age, Brian's begin to multiply in a disorganized manner, gathering into the nerve cells to poison the neurons. This finding indicates that the disease is related to Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD, and mad cow disease. Two other prion-related diseases are called transmissible spongiform encephalopathies, TSEs. Attracted the attention of the scientific community at the time. Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD, is a poisonous protein that causes the surface of the brain to pour like cheese. While Silvano's familial insomnia syndrome, FFI, tends to target the thalamus in the center of every brain hemisphere. Image studies show that the thalamus in Silvano's brain, which is shaped and shaped like a walnut, is perforated like a worm. After years of in-depth research, scientists have been able to explain why the damage caused to this small neoplastic tumor has led to such puzzling symptoms. Scientific Explanation we all know that the central brain coordinates all activities. Our bodies automatically react to environmental influences such as air conditioning, blood pressure, heart rate, and release some hormones that help the body function smooth. When the center of this mess is broken, everything will really become chaotic, so the sweat goes out of control, the pupils shrink, the appearance of impotence and constipation. The ability to control unstable central brain areas can also contribute to insomnia, as patients are not prepared for nighttime sleep. Normally, normal blood pressure drops before bedtime, but people with FFI have abnormally high blood pressure, which causes the patient to feel that their body is still in high alert. 
If the sympathetic nervous system is not in equilibrium, of course the patient will have insomnia. Cortelli presented his idea at a recent workshop on sleeping pills. With the combined effect of these problems, the normal rhythm of the brain will be in complete chaos. A normal sleep deprivation also includes a number of different stages, followed by periods of rapid eye movement, REM, and emphasized by submerged state. Makes sleep deeper. During this period, the vibration at the lower frequencies of the rippling electrical activity on the cerebral cortex, through knots, tissue resembles the bark on the surface of the brain. This state of sleep seems to have the potential to diminish the excitement of the usual conscious coordination of the brain in a state of alertness. At the same time, it also performs important maintenance tasks such as consolidating, categorizing, gathering the memories that are collected during the day to put in long-term memory. The tiny brain that is extremely important for coordinating all of these subtle rhythms is the thalamus. Without the central switch that controls the state of the condition, FFI patients will always be in a state of alertness and unable to get regular sleep. Sleep brings recovery to brain activity. It is said by Angelo Gianignani at the University of Pisa, Italy, who demonstrated that people with FFI lost this crucial stage of brain activity. There is no submerged state, the slow phase of the brain, the state closest to normal sleep that FFI patients reach, is a type of unconscious coma. Not completely sleeping, but not completely conscious, in which they unconsciously mimic the rhythm of everyday life. A fairly well-known patient suffering from FFI has suggested that there may be some other abnormal use to minimize suffering. Psychologist at Touro College in New York, Joyce Senkin tells the story of Daniel who is a wonderful, intelligent and extremely funny man. After that, Daniel began conversations with timbre and intonation. There were times, he said, forgive me if my voice is broken, disconnected but I have not slept in five days, Senkin said. Medical tests show Daniel is carrying a genetic mutation that causes FFI, and there are some people with FFI-related illness in Daniel's family, but sadly, the disease is inherited by Daniel. Developed very quickly. Enjoy life. Instead of falling down or desperate, Daniel chooses to live positively, traveling around the United States, not just sitting there waiting for him to die. Meanwhile, Daniel is also experimenting with the most potent treatments possible, from supplementing vitamins, exercising to improving joint health to improving joint health. Go to a local anesthetic with medicines like ketamine and nitrous oxide, and sleeping pills like diaspam. Anything that can help you have a nap, even for just a few minutes. Daniel even bought a dedicated acoustic chamber, finding that he even with the use of anesthetics, his fragile slumber could still be interrupted by very small noises or movements. Unexpected action. Housed in an egg-shaped cocoon, bathed in warm salt water, Daniel found some rest and enjoyed a four-half-hour nap. Even so, when he regains consciousness, he is confronted with a very perilous hallucination, including a sense of uncertainty as to whether he is alive or dead. Despite some successes, Daniel still faces recurrence, and is becoming more and more stressful as the disease progresses. When the symptoms of the disease get worse, Daniel cannot do anything, Senkin said. There were times when he lost his consciousness all day, he was sitting there not actively moving, he was frozen like that. Daniel even tried using electrical shock therapy to the brain to try to convince him that a severe electric shock caused him to faint. Although it has some effects, the side effects from this therapy make Daniel bad memory loss so cannot use this therapy for further treatment. Finally, after a few years of struggling with a serious illness, Daniel also left. New Hope Although no treatment has proven to be effective in the long term, Daniel has lived a few more years than initially diagnosed. Senkin points out that recent studies have provided evidence that the submerged waves of sleep make up the drainage of cerebrospinal fluid. 
take away debris through channels between brain cells. This, perhaps, alleviates chronic insomnia, while cleansing and preventing further breakdown of the brain. Along with Italian neurologist Pasquale Montagna, who has worked on other family-related deaths. Senken published the case study in a medical journal, hoping it could inspire other scientists to look for ways to extend the patient's lifespan. Fatal Family Insomnia, FFI The hope of the FFI families in Venice is focused on a new direction. After decades of working with FFI, Dr. Reuter and his colleagues in Milan, along with Treviso, believe they are nearing success. In finding a cure by publishing clinical trials, a new drug could hopefully prevent or at least reduce the rate of prion formation. The suspected drug, doxycycline, has previously shown promising therapeutic prospects in the trials of creutzfeldt jakob disease, CJD. Originally originated as an antibiotic, it seems to have the ability to block prions from bundles and even support the division of prions through the natural enzymes of the brain. Indeed, in a small clinical trial in people with early signs of FFI, 21 recipients took the medicine, twice as long, mean 13 months, as compared to 78 observed. But sadly, studies conducted on patients who have been taking doxycycline and have shown signs of progression have not produced satisfactory results with FFI. Reuter and his colleagues argue that it is possible that at the time of the onset of the disease, the use of the drug was too late, with no therapeutic effect. For this reason, they propose the possibility of using doxycycline as a precautionary treatment for people at risk for FFI, before the prions begin to accumulate. It can delay or completely break the development of the disease, said Gianluigi Filoni, head of research at the Mario Negri Pharmaceutical Research Institute in Milan. Long-term trials were conducted with families with FFI patients in anxiety. First, the scientists tested the family members' chromosomes to see who carried the mutation, and therefore needed to use appropriate drugs. They then selected 10 members ages 42 to 52, who will see the impact of the disease in the next decade. The problem is that many of the members of the FFI family do not want to know the results of the test because they fear it will be like a dark cloud covering their every waking minute. For this reason, an additional 15 non-risk members will also be treated with counterfeit drugs. This means that each member will have no way of finding out their test results. If not treated positively, Filoni predicts that at least four of the ten mutant carriers will die in the next decade. So if more than six people get rid of the disease by the end of the test period, then they are considered successful, may consider using this treatment more widely. Although the experiment brought many glimmers of hope, controversies surrounding it continued to unfold among doctors closely following the family illness. Because even if family members got rid of the disease at the end of the trial period, you cannot exclude the possibility that some individuals are simply lucky. Some people carry the mutation that still lives to 80 and no one knows why their pathogenic gene is inactive. Although very anxious and confused, families with FFI patients still decided to bet their lives on the treatment gamble. This is an opportunity to abolish the death penalty that was written in their DNA for centuries. If the drug under study really works, it will be the end of this live nightmare and the beginning of a new future in which a peaceful night's sleep will be welcomed without fear that it may be the last sleep. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to follow other videos. Goodbye and see you again.